In this video, I want to do a test between a lithium battery and a sealed lead acid battery for ice fishing electronics. Both of these batteries have sat out in the garage overnight. They're about 32 degrees and both have a full charge on them. Both units are identical. I know they're a little bit older HDS 5s, but uh, both are Gen 2 units. Um, unfortunately, they're the only two I had a pair of units of to test this as um, consistently and as accurately as possible. So we want to see what we get out of the lithium battery if we get longer life. And the other thing I want to see is if we get sustained voltage on the battery as well. That's one of the claims of lithium is that you'll get your 12 volts much, much longer. Whereas a sealed lead acid would go from 12, 11, 10, 9, and then your unit would shut off at that point. So basically that's what we're going to be testing in this video. I'm going to come back on an hourly basis and just see which one lasts longer and you know which one sustains voltage longer. The other main reason people go to lithium is the weight. Um, I'll, do, I'll weigh both these batteries at the end here just to see what we're looking at weight savings and just by carrying them it's definitely significant. We've been going an hour now. You can see the lithium has held its charge like no problem at all. Still holding at 13.1 volts. We've gone from, I believe it was about 12.9, uh, it was flickering between 12.9 and 13 when I first turned it on, it's at 12.6 now, and uh, that's on the sealed lead acid battery. So, so far, an hour into this test, uh, they just dropped another tenth, or starting to anyway, and uh, yeah, so far an hour in, and looks like what we're seeing, uh, what we expected I should say is what we're seeing, and that lithium is, is keeping that charge throughout its drain cycle. So. We'll see how this goes. We'll check it in another hour. So we're into hour two now. We finally lost a tenth of a volt on the lithium ion and on the sealed lead acid we lost another, it was just at 12.4 so just lost, a, you know, getting into another two tenths there. Three hours in, lost a little bit more but still 12 volts on both of those batteries. Lithium ion sustaining at four hours, losing a little bit on the sealed lead acid. Again, five hours in, we're, we're doing pretty good. So good, good solid half day of fishing. Both will work fine. Now you can see we've dropped a fair bit into the sixth hour on the sealed lead acid. Even more now into the seventh hour. And it's about 45 minutes later and I came out to check this. We really dropped significantly here. A little voltage alarm there. That's what uh, kind of alerted me that something was going on. 8.6 now on the sealed lead acid. We're at 12 volts still on the lithium. This is seven hours and 45 minutes in. So you can see we're uh, gonna shut off very soon on that sealed lead acid unit. We'll see how much longer we get out of the lithium. Now 15 minutes later, eight hours in, and the unit has shut off. So we still have uh, voltage on our lithium, but it's dropping very quickly. Now 20 minutes later now, and lithium ion is dead. Thing with lithium though is I can't even turn it back on. Whereas the sealed lead acid, you let it sit for a bit, it will come back on. So now the advantage to that is if you're out there and you're using this as a GPS and your battery dies on you, the sealed lead acid, you can still get to come back on. It's almost like it, it recharges a little bit or you get a little bit of that charge back anyway. So if you're using it for navigation, sealed lead acid might be a better way to go because when lithium's dead, it's dead. So now the other big thing is the weight comparison. Obviously we know the lithium is lighter, but how much lighter? Well, this lithium battery weighs in at 2.2 pounds. The sealed lead acid guy is over double at 5.4 pounds. So in the weight department, lithium is the way to go. Other benefits of sealed lead acid is the cost, it's about a third, and then also the ability to turn it back on like we talked about. Now with lithium, you definitely get voltage quite a bit longer. That's a huge advantage because your unit will perform at 12 volts much better than it will at anything below 11. So that's a big advantage there. Both batteries definitely have their advantages. You know, the traditional sealed lead acid has been around forever. It's worked great. Lithium's come onto the scene now. It's definitely worth checking out. You know, I don't know which one I would choose at this point yet. There's advantages to both. Let me know in the comments what you guys would do. And if you've tried lithium, how do you like it?